You know, the heart of the home is in the kitchen, and that's where we are with our next guest, one of our favorites, Carlene King of Carmaya's Soul Food Restaurant. Hi. 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 Yeah, and we are cooking up something special for the first Friday in Lent. Mm -hmm. And Carlene, what are we cooking up? So we're cooking up a soul food twist to Lent. So we're going to have blackened tilapia, Ooh. and we're going to have Brussels sprouts with uh, fire roasted tomatoes and garlic and onion. So traditionally in soul food, you make it with okra, but I hate okra. Don't tell my mom. <laughs> she might. Be She'll listening. never see this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's not watching right now. So let's get started. We're going to make some uh, tilapia. So the most okay. important part is to make a good blackening blackening season. Okay. When you're making a blackening season, you want to make it according to your your taste. If you like it hot and Cajun, you put in more cayenne. If you like it a little milder, you can just put in your flavor. So let's get started. Okay. The most important ingredient is uh, paprika. Oh. So I kind of say you want to use two paprika to every one of everything else except cayenne. You want to adjust that for your flavor level. Okay. So if we put in, and um, I'm horrible at measuring, but I'm going to give it a try for you guys. Oh, you're wanna, no, a I'm dash not. of this, yes. a dash of that. Yeah, so just I'm, do it. <laughs> two tablespoons paprika. Okay. We're going to do one tablespoon of garlic powder, and you want to use the powder so it can last. And onion powder, mm -hmm. about one table, so again, two to one. This is fennel. This is something that is kind of our karma twist, and we love it. So I we're going to put about a tablespoon. I love the taste of fennel. I love the taste yeah. of fennel. And this is brown sugar. Ooh. So the brown sugar is going to help it brown more quickly. Caramelize a little bit. Caramelize, yeah. yes. And then it's going to give it a, that little flavor. So we want to get like, I might have to eat that. I'd add brown yeah. sugar to everything if I could. Yeah, It why doesn't not? make sense all the time, but <laughs> I would. Time. Uh-oh, here we go again. Not again, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> that skillet's getting hot. And pepper, and uh, this is a cayenne. Oh, so cayenne. I'm going to okay. make it medium for us. Okay. That's probably good. So you just want to get everything in there, get it mixed, get it mm -hmm. all together, and that's all. Well, that's and super easy. Super duper easy. I'm going to massage it on. Let's get the hands in there. Both I'm sides of the tilapia. You really want to massage it on both sides. You see that color yeah. start coming through? Yeah. Get now, it on both sides. Go ahead. Can you use a different kind of fish if you don't like tilapia, if you oh, have something else you on can hand? Use okay. absolutely any fish. You can use, we do catfish at Carmi. Um, and we do black and tilapia. We do black and salmon as well. Oh, oh I've so, had that actually. Yes, 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 <laughs> yes, yes, yes. So we blacken a lot of things. You can blacken pork chops and chicken. So blackening is a universal spice, and it works. And it uses uses kind of very little oil. Um, mm -hmm. So it's like a really good alternative. Let's see how this goes today. It's gonna go. All right, I'm just gonna stand back with David. <laughs> Oh, good. Oh, that was so You're gentle so and good. mild. You're so good. <laughs> all right, so let's go ahead. I'm going to switch okay. places. Okay. All right. All right. I'll come over here and man the tilapia. So this part is super duper easy, too. So we have our Brussels sprouts. These were huge, so we kind of quartered them, but you can have them. Just kind of get it in there. You want to get in some olive oil. Mm -hmm. Olive Dice. oil is great for everything. Everything. Olive oil and butter. Yes, you're right. <laughs> now, at home, what? I put bacon in it, but it's Lent. Okay, yeah, so Students. we're leaving that out for Lent. Yes. The universal spice bacon. And then we have the fire roasted <laughs> tomatoes nice. and garlic. That is absolutely all, guys. You put it in the oven, you want to mix it up a little bit. Put it in the oven for about 20 minutes or so, depending on the size of them. Okay. Do you want it, it hot? I know when you're roasting vegetables, you want it like 425. Do you want it that hot or do you want it lower? Oh, I roast at 475. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Oh, Kinda you're not low messing and around. Slow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So, oh, no, four, 375. Oh, 375. Oh, like, okay, yeah, no, all right. I'm just starting fires in the kitchen. You're cleaning your oven. <laughs> <laughs> That's temperature. Okay. So I kind of go 375 because I want them to not just crisp. I want them to kind of cook all the way through. Oh, I yeah. like mine's just a little softer in texture. That is everything. We pop this in the oven. When that's ready to cook, we flip it and then we eat. You guys ready? Oh, oh yeah. I've been oh, ready. Wow. I, I, oh, so you have finished products back yeah. here. She is ready to go. I didn't even go. see that. All right, we've got to make space for that. See how quick we are to. Yeah, I know. Clean. When there's food, it's. Just, food, it's just give it one of these. Right. <laughs> okay, Knock everything off the table, Heather. <laughs> Look how lovely guys. that looks. Look, it's just gorgeous. All right, so. Okay. I'm going to just dive in. So black and tilapia. So I have an excellent name for the baby. Oh, you do? Yes. Mm -hmm. So my name is oh, Carlene so Lane. Mm -hmm. Carly Lane, if it's a boy, and just Carlene if it's a girl. Excellent okay. name. Um, <laughs> my husband's in the audience. You can talk to him. He's he's right settled on Rocco. <laughs> you guys can talk about that after the show if you need to. So I'm fine with Carlene, that. this is fantastic. So good. Thank I want to try really these. Is. No, we have to try these. Those are delicious. 
Now we learned some people just call them sprouts, not Brussels oh. sprouts anymore. Oh. Like the, the cool kids are saying that. That's I'm what we heard. Not the cool kids. Yeah, um, neither am I. I learned that from Jeff, our photographer. I feel like by the time it gets to me, it's not cool anymore. So <laughs> I'm just gonna go back to Brussels sprouts. How quick and easy was that? Mm. Perfect. Great for tonight. Great. Great. Thank you so we much. We love it when you feed us. Thank you. <laughs> I do. Thanks again to Carleen King, owner of Carmi's Soul Food Restaurant with her husband, Mike. And you can find it on the south side at 1825 East Carson Street.